Hi, my name is Ron Dorn, and I am a co-developer of the GPH-112 class with Dr. Ryan Heinzman. I'm a professor, and I'm here with the goal of explaining to you the sequence of events needed for you to reach an A plus in these labs. So really what this is about is helping you reach your grade goal because we want everybody to earn an A plus and we tried to structure the class in such a way that you have control over your grade. So there are four sets of labs, groups of labs based upon interactive geovisualizations. Hawaii, the big island, lightning in the San Francisco peaks, and then two on the Grand Canyon, one dealing with microclimates and vegetation, and one dealing with the landforms, the relationship between the geology and the landscape you see in the Grand Canyon. And they use real scientific data for you to interact with in a video game context. So you're now in the Hawaii lab. You looked at the Hawaii overview and tutorial prerequisites in the Canvas module. So what I'm looking at here are screenshots of the Canvas module when you click on the modules and you see all the different modules and information and pages in them. You gained access to this video by clicking on the Hawaii Geovisualization Overview. So what you need to do is to view this overview, you've done it. Then you need to complete the tutorial with 100%. We need you to do the tutorials because it answers a lot of questions. And we give you seven tries. Hopefully you'll be able to finish the tutorial in just one try. When you get 100% of the tutorial, then you watch the basic background lecture on the subject matter and you take a lecture and a quiz that must at least be submitted. When you do all these three things, and I'm showing you what it looks like from our end in Canvas in the lower right-hand corner, when you do all these three things, then earning more points via doing the geovisualization labs, you get access to these labs. So you try these different labs, earn a lot of points, and then you move on to the lightning lab and you earn more points. And then you do the same sequence with the microclimates and vegetation, the Grand Canyon. And let's say after doing all of the labs, you've only reached a B plus in terms of your point total, which is a pretty typical thing after doing three of the labs. A few rare students will be able to reach an A plus with just these three labs. It's highly unusual. Usually then students need to do the Grand Canyon Landforms Lab. So let's say you click on the Grand Canyon Geomorphology Geovisualization Labs and you're denied access. Ah you forgot that you need to finish as a prerequisite the overview and tutorial. So the same sequence exists. You look at the overview, you complete the tutorial at 100%, you watch the basic background and you take a quiz, then you get access to the Grand Canyon Geomorphology Labs. And let's say you end up with enough points for an A. Hopefully you'll have an A plus by just doing a few of these labs. But let's say you're at an A and you want to earn an A plus. To gain access to what we call the extra labs, and it's just additional point opportunities, you will have to have at least submitted all of the labs for the four main game-based labs, Hawaii, Lightning, and the two Grand Canyon labs. The prerequisites say you have to submit them all. You don't have to do well on them. You just have to be submitted. And at that point, you gain access to this module, which says more geovisualization labs for interest, more points, or both. And there are a lot of them, and we're adding to them all the time. Here, I'm showing you our development module in Canvas, and I'm working one on drainage basin growth at this point which is a question of why are certain things only on one side of the Grand Canyon and not on the other side? Something that a lot of people comment on when they visit one side or the other. So we're constantly developing more point opportunities. The larger point here, and it's the last slide in this presentation, 
is we've enabled you to reach your goal in a percentage-based grading system. Students either score the average of their grade or they start out with an A and see their grade go down. Ryan Heinzman and I think it's insane to punish students for beginning glitches. Progress needs to be rewarded. We want you to have no fear of trying and not succeeding. So you try again and you succeed. We want everything you do in this class gets you further towards your grade goal. Challenge by challenge, you accrue points and your grade only goes up with more points and never down. And when you're satisfied with your grade, you can stop and there's no danger of the grade lowering. So we really want you to earn the grade you want to earn and structure the class in such a way that the lab science prerequisites are met by having a sequence things the way you see them, but the grade is within your complete control. Thanks for your time.